I don't need to. It's a photograph of. No, I used. I don't have. Come in. Hello, Ro. Come in. Come. Don't mind the poochie. Here, boy. Hi, um, dog. His name is Moti. Right. Moti. See ya. So, um, how are you? Oh, I'm just fine. Right, Moti? Aren't we just... That dog is adorable. Moti? He's spoiled rotten, but he's taken quite a shine to you, that... Huh. Usually I'm not good with animals. You never had a childhood... A pet? No, I had a teddy bear. <laughs> Well, you probably had the right idea. Moti's a little thing, but you wouldn't know it from the amount he eats. He's very active, it seems. Yes, that probably ex- See that box? I buy a new one, and Moti doesn't have a stomach. He has a black hole that sucks in food. Feel free to give him one if you like. Thanks again for helping. I'd probably be sleeping in a hotel tonight if it weren't for- Oh, didn't you hear the strike so? Really? It only lasted a few hours according to the report on the radio. I suppose that- I suppose so. You have a very nice apartment. Thank you. A bit small, but that's New York for- So, you play the flute, huh? Yes, I play- It's called a bansur. What about you? Do you play an instrument? Me? No, I can hardly play the kazoo. Let's see. You strike me as being creatively inclined. Are you a painter? Well, I'm trying to be a writer. I knew it. Anything published? Nothing really, aside from book reviews in the Village Eye. Village Eye? You mean that little paper they sell at this? You've read it? I've seen it around, but I've never asked. Perhaps I will the next time I see it. Why do you play the flute in the park? It's a place to go, I suppose. I was walking there one day, and I had the bansuri with me, so I started playing. Next thing I knew, I had a bunch of people, so I go there as often as I can now. It gets me out of this stuffy apartment, and I admit. Plus, Moti loves the dog run there. Well, he did, until they closed it. You seem very friendly with the people in this building. Well, I didn't grow up here. I didn't realize it was taboo to chat with neighbors. Well, it's not taboo, exactly. It's just... Oh, I know, just one of those unspoken things. I've found that most people are pretty friendly, though, once you take the first step. People have their defenses up most of the time. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I do. Why did they close down the dog run? It seemed okay to me. Nobody really knows. It started about a week ago. Dogs started howling, running around like maniacs, acting strange. Some even hurled themselves at the fence door trying to get out. They say it's some kind of high-frequency wave that's caused by electric cables or something. Some high-pitched sound that the dogs can hear, but we can't. But I know better. You know better? Definitely. I notice these things. I could tell that things weren't quite right. Something in... It's not a high-pitched noise. That would only cause a dog pain. This was more than pain. What was there to be scared of? I have no idea, but I know what I... Just like you... Me. You sensed it. Don't think I didn't notice. I didn't sense... Well, per maybe I'm just spa... Could I try feeding the dog? Sure. Here, take one. I Go ahead and feed him. He's... Well, I... Take care, Ro. Come back with... Come here, boy. Um, what do I do now? Just say, go get it. He'll do the rest. Go get it. See ya. You know I spoiled. Go get it.
Well, take care. Come back. What? It's gone. The pain. That was strange. It was like... like... What? The photo. Something is different about it. I almost don't want to look, but... No, no. I did not. I am not. No. It's just... Auntie's death. I just need- that's all. Hello, bright eyes. Why do they always do that? So, Griff. Long time no see. How's tricks? Right, thought as much. Blackwell Danes. Always sleeping. You're always sleeping, and I'm always watching. Yep, that's me. The Eternal Chump. Mmm. It's about time. Hey, nap time Nelly. Wake up. What? Ahem. <clears throat> Shall we try this again? No. Now that's not very polite. Go away. I'm afraid I can't do that, darling. Believe me, I've tried. No, you don't exist. Oh, yes, I do. Look at me. This is not happening. This is not happening. Oh, brother. I am not going insane. There is nothing there. Could you? No! I am not my aunt. I am not my grandmother. I am not going to end up like that. Listen. Get out of my head! There's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Could you? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! No, you shut up. You're gonna listen. And you're gonna listen good. I've been watching you all day, sweetheart. You know who I am. No. Yes. I'm not going away, so there'd be no point in beating around the bush. Now say my name. No! Damn you, you know my name, now say it! You're... Yes? You're... Joey? Good girl. You got it in one. Now turn around and look at me. I... Don't worry. I won't bite. Couldn't even if I wanted to. Hi there. Um... Who are you, and what the hell do you want with me? Huh, you don't waste any time. You're a Blackwell, all right. So who are you? I'm Joey Malone, and I'm the Family Spirit Guide. What? Think of me as the Blackwell legacy, darling. I'm passed down from one generation to the next, like a family heirloom. First your grandmother got stuck with me, then your aunt, and now you. Where did you come from? That's a long, long story, Dollface. And we've got more important things to do. Why have you been haunting my family? Haunting? Is that what I'm doing? That's a real ugly word. Answer me, why are you here? You got me, sweetheart. I've been wondering why me and why your family since this whole gig started. Must be some kind of gift your family has. A gift? You're a medium. A medium with a direct connection with the spirit world. And I, my dear, have the unique pleasure of being that connection. I don't... I don't understand any of this. Oh, you will, babe, you will. It took your aunt a while, but she got the hang of it. Your grandmother never really caught on. That's probably why... Why what? Why she didn't last long. But that's something we can talk about later. You felt something today, didn't you? Felt something? Yeah, you felt sick to your stomach, I saw you. I've been feeling sick all day. And where did it start?
You mean, the dog run? Yeah, that's where we've got to go. What, right now? Yep, the sooner the better. But it's the middle of the night. So you've just had a nice nap. You should be ready for a- I'm not going out to Washington Square Park in the middle of- Well, that's where you're wrong. If there's any reason behind this medium business, it's to take care of problems like your dog park. And we have to take care of them. We've got to go right now. Yes. What's the hurry? Let me put it another way. Do you want to end up like your aunt? And Was that because did you do that? Not me, kid. Not me. I didn't make him that way, and I don't know what... But do you really want to sit around here and find out? Fine. Let's go. That's the... After you. That was strange. Everybody just ignored you. Am I the only one who can see you? Yep, and hear me. So keep your voice low. Oh yeah, this is the spot. Can you see it? I don't see anything, can we go? Come on, the Hey, wait! Don't worry, I can't travel far from- it. Goes against the rules. Now look inside and look close. What am I supposed to see? Just wait. Wait, I s who is that? That's what we're here. I'll talk to the spook. You can stay here. Okay. Now watch Why so down, beautiful? Ah. I'm a bit out of practice. How should I handle this? Hey, don't be like that. If there's one thing I hate, it's seeing a p Hey, I'm talking to you. They all run. It's so hard to hold on. It's me. It's me. They won't stop. Who won't stop, kid? Try and concentrate. Explain everything so we can help. Help. He wants me to help him. But I want to help them. Don't they know that? Help who? Can't. Can't. They run away. We won't run away. No. No, no we're, we're sick. sick. He, poisoned he poisoned us. us. Got, Got into our head and poisoned us. Whatever happened, darling? You do know that, don't you? No. Stay, Stay away, away or I'll run. Run, run away Stay like all the... Not a chance. I'm staying... You're... You're, you're him. him. He's, He's the, the only one who won't go away. Who? Him! Now look, darling, sweetheart. Leave me. Hey. Leave. All right, we're going. Look, just, we'll figure this out. Friggin' ghosts. Can't get a straightforward answer out of any of them. What just happened? What just happened is we've got an unstable spirit on a haunting that dog park over there. You wondered why the mutts don't like it. That's the re- There's a ghost haunting the dog- That's what I said. A ghost. Sure. What am I doing here? I told you. No. No. I really should go to bed. Hey, wait a sec. Yeah, sleep. I shouldn't be- oh, For the love of Pete. What an odd dream. Good morning, Brian. Uh, you're still here. Wouldn't be anyone. Has anybody told you that you snore? If it bothers you so much, you can always leave. I wish I could, dear. I told you, I couldn't leave. E so this is going to be my life from now on. Pretty much. You're going to follow me around for the rest of my life. That's how it works, as far as I can tell. Great. Hey, it ain't all a bed of roses for me either, dollface. You think I chose to be shackled to your family for the last four- Your grandmother refused to accept it, and look what happened to her. And auntie? She... made a mistake. What kind of mistake? Hey, what is this, 20 questions? What's with the third degree? She's the only family I had. I want to know about her. We all want lots of things. Doesn't mean we get them. Look, this isn't easy, you know. You're a ghost? Fine. I'm a medium? Fine. My whole life is turned upside down? Fine. But you could at least meet me halfway. 
You've accepted it. So far, yes. You've only seen a taste of it. Are you ready to go all the way? What do you mean? Ready to see what's out there. Ready to Yes. Good. Maybe. So what is it? I don't have to tell. It's best if I show you. Here, take a hold. I can touch it? Yeah, the only part of me you can touch, unfortunately. It kind of tingles. What is it? The stuff of life. Or death. I've never... What now? Now you pull. Pull the tie? Yeah, pull. Okay. Oh my god, where have you taken... Relax. Take your time. What is this place? It's the doorway to infinity, dark. Out there, the next world. The next plane of existence. The gossamer threads that separate this world from the next. Whatever you want to call it. It's all out there. How did we get here? We're inside... You mean I'm dreaming? No, I mean we're literally inside your head. Remember those headaches you had yesterday? Yeah. That was your power awakening. Or to be more specific, it was this place. For... So what does that mean? It means that you've got a spiritual way station in- I'm not sure I like- Well, like it or not. So what does this place actually- It's sort of a transfer point, or node. It connects the mortal world with the next. You bring spirits into this place, and then send them on their merry way. That's it. Well, there's a bit more to it than that. I thought as much. You see, many ghosts aren't as lucid. Mo Near as I can figure, they have to come to terms with their... Depart you dig me so far? I think so. The ghosts don't know they're dead. Yeah, yeah, right. So, we have to help them accept it. Once they accept their death, they are mu That's my job, see? I talk to the spooks. They you do the legwork. Anyway, I know you have some questions about this place, so go ahead and ask. What about you? Can you go through that hole in- I wish, darling, but I can't. I've tried before, but it just spits me- I'm stuck here, whether I like it or not. You're wearing your tie. How did that happen? Not sure. Near as your aunt and me figured, the tie is just an extension of whatever power. It's not a real physical tie. No more than I am a real physical per- But that makes no sense. Look, just accept it. Forget logic. For you, logic went out the window the day I appeared in your- There ain't no instruction manual for this. Your aunt and me just figured it out as we went along. What about that ghost in the park? Why didn't we bring- First of all, I didn't think you were ready. And secondly, that ghost was too lost and conf When a ghost is like that, I can't just force the tie into their- It won't work, don't ask me why. They have to know they're dead for- Your aunt called it, uh... Are you okay, Joe? Me? I'm dandy. You don't look alright. Uh, it's just this... I don't like probably because... Maybe someday, but... I think I've learned enough. You sure? Yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. Welcome back. Ugh. Take it easy. It's a little- I'm fine. So what now? Go back to the park and bring her to- You got it. And how do we do that? There are three steps. First, we have to find out more about- it. Second, we use that information to get through to her, convince her that- And three, help her move on. How do we convince ghosts that they're actually dead? That's the tricky part. Near as I can figure, we need to remind the ghosts who they are. Their death was too traumatic or too violent or too emotional that they're l So we need to do whatever we can to... And how do we do that? Usually by finding something that has a personal significance to them. Could be an object, a piece of information, or even an... So we need to know more about the ghost in the park. You're a writer, yeah? Think of this as the... <laughs> How do we find out more about- She could be any- Not necessarily. That picture you got, the one of the three girls? That blonde girl is either the ghost in the park or her twin sister. Were you looking through my stuff? Well, I gotta keep busy. What else am I gonna do while you're- The blonde girl is dead. Looks like it. And this other girl, Joanne, she's dead. Yep. What's going on? That, my dear, is our bread and butter. What else can we do to learn more about the ghost in the- The photo, dear, it's the biggest clue we have. How do we help a ghost move? With my magic tie. I give one end to the spook, the other. You pull the ghost in. You don't come in with- No, so that's your job. I think I- Yeah, let's get- With him st- I can't. That's not something I can look up. No. Nope.
I don't want to ruin the picture. Joey says that this girl looks exactly like the girl in the park. According to Kelly, this girl on the left is Joanne. I assume that this is a friend of Joanne, but I have no idea who she is. You come? Yeah, sure. Please note. Hmm. I don't want to. Don't worry. Hey there. No. Maybe. Young lady, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you're... It, it, it. Sweetheart, are you listening? They all go away. The deacon. Maybe. Listen, you don't have to worry about it. Whatever it is, just... He haunts, he haunts my, my dreams. dreams. He gets into my... He poisons me. He's trying... But you're... Are you friends with the girl? Joanne? Beware of Joanne when her plans unfurled. For she intended... She had to go away. He drove her away. She didn't understand. Do you know why? Joanne? She can't be dead. She's going to change the world. She's not dead. Even though she had to go away. They all had to go away because of the deacon. Can you tell me? The deacon is... We called him and he came. He got into my head. He's scared. He's made me diseased. Now everyone goes... Hey, Dollface, come here. Hold up that picture. Do you reckon? Oh, it's so... Maybe I need glasses. Hmm. We already... How about... Adrian the man. The man... Do you know... Ke Kelly, Kelly, crazy Kelly, made of ice jelly. We all drove her away. But that was okay. It wasn't the deacon's fault. It was hers. Do you show even though they all become Look, just we'll figure That place is creepy. What? You You know what I mean. Joe Shh I want you to stop.